Over the past couple of months, you may have noticed that there hasn't really been an update for the Urgantuan Leviathan or Return of the Ancients mod, but I can assure you that's not because the developers are slacking off. The Architects of the Unknown, as they're called, have been hard at work polishing numerous features and fleshing out the story-related content everyone is dying to see. So in this video, I'm going to discuss everything I'm allowed to share about this mod and what you can expect to see in the future. So first up, let's talk about the animation you saw in the intro. Let me start by showing you the full thing. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Launch in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 2, 1. Time capsule jettisoned. Now, this was accidentally left in the most recent build of the mod the devs gave us, and I've actually known about this for some time, yet only recently was I given permission to actually show it in a video. Anyways, this was a scrapped prototype of the animation they were going to have for when you try to escape 4546B in the Neptune rocket. This is basically so outdated at this point, I have no idea what it's actually going to be like, but the animation definitely gives you an idea of what's going to happen. The main thing I don't really like about this animation is the warper portal that appears on screen. When the Neptune rocket starts being pulled back down to 4546B by the Gargantuan Leviathan. I believe this is here to hide the transition between the rocket moving up and the rocket suddenly moving down, which is how you can tell this is a very early prototype. But it does make me wonder how they address this issue in the actual animation. I also think that it's possible you might need some sort of upgrade or something in order to escape the Gargantuan Leviathan, like maybe some sort of ion shield system, which would also be cool. This is honestly an amazing idea, and one that I've heard several people talk about in the comment section, so I'm really happy it's actually going to be a thing. From what I understand, this this awesome animation is only one of the six cutscenes that are going to be added through this mod, including the Sunbeam animation I'm sure many of you have already seen. For those of you who haven't, basically the Gargantuan Leviathan jumps out of the water and grabs the Sunbeam in its mouth, dragging it into the ocean before it can land. You can check out my video linked in the description if you want to actually see the full animation. But anyways, I have a few theories as to what some of the unknown cutscenes might be, which I'll talk about a little later. But before I do that, let's talk about the Sunbeam animation because there's a few things I'd like to discuss. Firstly, I'd like to point out something that I mentioned in the pinned comment on my previous video about this mod. Just before the Gargantuan Leviathan grabs the Sunbeam out of the air, if you look very closely, you'll notice two life pods in the distance, ejecting from the spaceship before it's dragged into the depths of the ocean. Now, if we go into free cam and follow these life pods, you'll see that they fall all the way down until they hit the water, and then continue going for a long time until they eventually disappear. But I'm basically 100% sure that these are supposed to land on the water, and that at some point in the story we're going to come across them. Because why on earth would they have life pods eject from the sunbeam just for nothing to happen to them? I'm very confident that these life pods are going to be a big part of the story. What I think is going to happen is that we will come across the ruins of these life pods later in the game, kind of like all the other life pods in Subnautica. And then they would have some sort of spooky voice logs telling the story of how the inhabitants inside met their demise to the Gargantuan Leviathan. I really hope that this is going to be the case because that would be awesome. Secondly, in my previous Gargantuan Leviathan video, a lot of people talked about how the animation where the Gargantuan Leviathan ate the sunbeam felt very fast. And I was actually curious about the same thing, so I went ahead and asked one of the mod developers and he told me that the reason the Gargantuan jumps up and falls so quickly is because they're editing the original animation, and that animation only goes on for a certain length. 
so they had to speed things up in order to fit everything they wanted within that animation. Basically, the gun in the original animation shoots at a certain time and starts moving back to its original position also at a set time, so they have to make everything they need to happen actually happen before those movements occur. It's kind of unfortunate, but it's what happens when you're modding a game like this. Now, despite that, I can confirm the Architects of the Unknown have created an improved version of the Argantuan Leviathan eating the Sunbeam, which I assume will be coming out whenever the next build is released. From what I understand, there's going to be a splash when the Gargantuan Leviathan lands, which is also something many of you guys have asked for. I don't think it's going to be a tsunami-like wave, but it's definitely going to be cool. I'll be sure to make a video on the build when it comes out, so go subscribe if you don't want to miss out. But now that we've discussed the Gargantuan Leviathan eating the Sunbeam, let's talk about what I think the other animations might be. I don't have a whole lot to go off of, but I believe at least some of the animations are going to be animated encounters with the Gargantuan Leviathan. This is based on this piece of concept art which appears to show the creature peeking through some sort of window into an alien base. A couple of animations that would just show the Gargantuan swimming past you from outside an alien base and just looking at you would really set up the atmosphere as well as reminding the player that the Gargantuan Leviathan is smart and very aware of you. So I think that something like this is definitely possible and maybe even likely. But besides that, I don't really have any ideas for what the other animations could be. If you think you have an idea, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Next, let's talk alien bases. So, from what I understand, there are going to be a decent amount of alien bases added in this mod. I know there are going to be at least 4 bases in the crater based on an old build of the mod where I found 4 beacons to specific locations in the Bulb Zone, Sparse Reef, Crag Field, and a 4th base that I'm not sure of its exact location. I'm not sure where exactly in these biomes the bases will be, and it's also possible the bases have been completely moved from these biomes, but I'm fairly confident there's going to be 4 new main bases in the crater. I'm not exactly sure what we will find in these bases, but I do have a few theories. The theory I'm most confident about comes from this teaser. The blob in the center was in a previous build of the mod. Basically, the blob would crash your PC if you touched it too much. And based on the background, I can confidently say that this is going to be in an alien base. I imagine it to be a device that acts like the Doomsday device, which can be found in the Quarantine Enforcement platform, that can or could be used to completely destroy 4546B. My next guess is that one of the bases will provide the player with all the new alien technology this mod adds to the game, like the Ion Knife and an Alien Builder tool. It's also possible we could find this technology in the Quarantine Enforcement platform based on this image, but this is from a while ago, so it's possible that the location of the technology might have changed. My final guess is kind of far-fetched, but I was thinking one of the bases could have a non-functional portal to Sector Zero. This would explain how the precursors made it there and would be a pretty awesome easter egg. Besides these four bases, there's actually another base in the crater that has been recently confirmed through these three concepts. This base is known as the Outpost and is kind of going to act like the alien caches in the main story, where it isn't really going to serve a huge purpose, but it's going to be pretty cool and might provide a tiny bit of lore. As you can see from the concept, it's going to stand up on some sort of supports, and it's also going to have some sort of tentacle-like structure on top of it. You'll also notice some ion cubes as well as some sort of alien equipment inside. This honestly looks super cool and I can't wait to see it in-game. Besides the four bases and the outpost, I'm also guessing there will be some sort of base or bases in the void. This is based on this piece of concept art which kind of seems to show the gargantuan leviathan surrounding some sort of huge base in a dark area, I'm guessing to be the void. In a previous build of the mod, there also used to be a secret terminal in the void that provided you with alien technology, which further supports this theory. Maybe we'll get the alien technology added with this mod from one of these void bases instead of from one of the bases in the crater. Regardless of what you might find in these bases, the teaser looks amazing. Speaking of all these teasers, let's go over all the new teasers and concepts I've been given for this mod besides the ones I've already discussed. First, let's start with the concepts for the Ancient Skeleton, or what I like to call the Titan Leviathan, which can be found near the laboratory cache in the Lost River. I've also heard some people calling this creature the Brine Worm, but as of right now, it doesn't really have an official name yet. Let me know if you have any name ideas in the comment section. The Architects of the Unknown are planning on bringing this creature to life, as well as a few other ancient creatures, similar to what they did with the Gargantuan Leviathan. First up, we have this concept that basically takes the skull from the Lost River and adds on legs and a tail, which kind of gives you an idea of what this creature might be like. It reminds me of a giant centipede with a very tough outer skeleton. You'll also notice weathering on the skull, as well as some sort of plant hanging off of it. Next, we have a concept that takes a couple of different approaches to the creature, one that's very similar to the first concept that has a set of legs like a centipede, but also a different take of the creature, where it has some sort of tentacles instead of legs. There are shorter versions and longer versions, some with algae and some without. All these concepts kind of give you an idea of what this creature could be like when they eventually bring it to life. There's also these concepts of the Titan Leviathan commissioned by the YouTuber Aki, which I also think are pretty cool. The first concept imagines the creature with both flippers and legs. 
This is also a pretty good idea and it makes me wonder which design the developers will actually choose. The next two imagine the creature in a couple of different color variants with some sort of flippers, as well as two different kinds of shark tails at the end. Finally, we have another concept that looks alright but doesn't really fit the skeleton we're going off of, but it's worth mentioning. I've also been given a couple of sounds the architects of the unknown have created for this creature. I'll let you give them a listen and then let me know what you think about them in the comments. Next, let's look at the concepts for Research Specimen Theta, which can be found in the destroyed Disease Research Facility. I honestly like this first concept better than the Ancient Skeleton concepts. It almost seems more realistic and more like a fish that I could actually see swimming around in real life. Aki also had two concepts created for Specimen Theta, which are even better at showing what this creature might be like. The imagined creature has arms with claws on the end of them, a couple of fins and tentacles hanging off the body, as well as a ton of interesting appendages at its end. This next concept also appears to show the same creature excreting some sort of ink, like an octopus, while attacking a sea moth. These are seriously some of my favorite pieces of concept art out there. I think it does a perfect job of capturing what the creature might look like, plus it looks terrifying. Up next, we have a couple of concepts for the Alpha Peeper. For those of you who don't know what the Alpha Peeper is, it's basically the PDA's hypothesized most recent common ancestor to the Peeper, Ii, Reginald, Oculus, and Red Ii. The concepts are based on this short description of the creature from the PDA entry discussing it. There's a whole lot of different variants and potential designs the devs could choose from, so once again it really makes me curious as to which one the Architects of the Unknown are going to choose. We also have this little teaser here, which appears to show some sort of new creature they're adding to the game, as well as this picture of the Gargantuan Leviathan peeking through the Cyclops window straight at the player. This was explained to me by one of the developers as an encounter they're working on where instead of attacking the Cyclops, the Gargantuan Leviathan will just swim right past it solely for the purpose of scaring the player. I think something like this would be amazing, so once again, I can't wait to see it in-game. Finally, there's this video it was given by one of the devs, which shows off one of the Gargantuan Leviathan's new animations. According to the Architects of the Unknown, the Gargantuan Leviathan rig was completely redone, and as a test to see how well it functioned, they reanimated one of its roaring animations. I think it's definitely an improvement, and I'm noticing a lot more side-to-side -side movement than last time. I definitely think it will look awesome in-game. Now, the last thing you might be wondering about is when this will be released. As it's always been, nobody really knows when the mod will be released to the public, even the mod developers themselves. There's still a whole lot of work to be done. What I do know is that at some point the mod will be released to the public in a 1.0 release. From there, there will be a 2.0 release, a 3.0 release, and so on. So there's a whole lot to look forward to. This is honestly the equivalent to a third Subnautica game to me at this point, so I'm super excited. And that's everything I know about what's been going on with the Gargantuan Leviathan mod since its last update. I hope you guys enjoyed! If you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and it helps me a ton. Huge thanks to my patrons over at Patreon, Baby Yoda, Faked Friends, Moon Lord, Sean, Skeptic, and Tangy. If you want to be awesome, become a patron of support today. And I will see you guys in the next video.